I'm Lauren Petrelli and it's peak rattlesnake season, which means you're more likely to run into one while enjoying the outdoors. But wildlife expert Adam Patrick is explaining to me exactly where you could find rattlesnakes this time of the year and the snakes you're most likely going to mistake them for. Watch your step. There are dozens of animals inside of Adam's animal sanctuary where he has plenty of snakes to show off. Yeah, a lot of these were pets. But on this day, Adam Patruck doesn't have any rattlesnakes to show us, but it's still an animal that he's very familiar with since they are native to Florida. You no know, doubt in Everglades National Park, they'll find them in mangrove islands. It's very not typical, though. They like more upland pine flatwoods, saw palmetto scrubs, scrub grasslands, places like that that don't really flood periodically. As Patrick shows me the snake skin from a diamondback rattlesnake, he explains how peak season starts in late summer and runs through fall, which means you are more likely to see one this time of the year. There are keeled scales on there. In the middle of each one of their individual scales, you can see that line. If you were to feel that, that would actually be ridged. But you'd have to get almost too close for comfort to notice details like that. And one of the best ways to identify a rattlesnake is this warning sound right here. If you're close enough to hear the rattle, um, just kind of try to find where they're at. Just back away, give them their space. However, Pontrock says you're more likely to run into one of these non-venomous snakes, which are commonly mistaken for rattlesnakes. This is a corn snake. Their patterns are similar to eastern diamondback rattlesnakes, a defense mechanism against bigger predators. A lot of our non-venomous native snakes mimic our native venomous snakes. They can even take their tails if they feel threatened and they'll rattle it in dry leaf litter. It's now feeding time at Adam's Animal Encounters and his daughter Emma loves to help. Patrick offers hands-on programs with a variety of animals, including snakes, which he feels are misunderstood animals. It's not just that natural for them to be around large animals like us. They're always trying to hide. So when we do see them, it's rare and things that we're not used to. Sometimes we're scared of. He believes education is key to easing those fears. They belong here just as much as we do. A lesson he hopes to pass down to many others, including his daughter. So while you're out enjoying the outdoors, remember to just watch your step. And if you do stumble upon a rattlesnake, give it space and don't try to pick it up. Lauren Petrelli, Fox 4 News.